given the inertia um, of wine regulations and wine laws, the only way to begin to get them repealed or reformed is to bring them to light. My name is Tom Work, and for the last 25 years, I've worked in the wine business as a marketer and as a consumer advocate for, uh, for wine consumers, for wine lovers. I started the American Wine Consumer Coalition with a number of other people because we noticed that whenever issues of consumer access to wine were debated, the health community was consulted, producers were consulted, wholesalers were consulted, retailers were consulted, law enforcement was consulted, but the consumer was never consulted. Right now, 40 states allow wine to be shipped into the consumer, but only 14 states allow consumers to have wine shipped to them from an out-of-state retailer. It makes no sense whatsoever, and it, it serves only to protect local retailers and to protect wholesalers. It's rent-seeking at its worst. The industry tends to be broken down into three constituent parts. You've got the producers, the folks who make the beverage. Then in the middle, you've got wholesalers and distributors, and they then sell the product to retailers and restaurateurs where we buy the wine from. It's that group primarily in the middle, the wholesalers and the distributors, who have an inordinate amount of power that's existed and sat with them going all the way back to repeal of prohibition. In most states, it's illegal for a producer of wine to sell directly to a retailer. By law, they have to go through the wholesaler. If that weren't the case, producers would have a lot of other options in terms of getting their wines to market. But when you have a law in place that says you must use a wholesaler, that gives the wholesaler all the power. And what's resulted from that is this tremendous increase in power and wealth among a small group of wholesalers who have in large part over the last 20 to 30 years done as much as they can to put the brakes on consumer access to wine. Pennsylvania is probably the most restrictive state for wine consumers. In Pennsylvania, it's the state that sells all the wine. You don't have any private retail outlets. Um, there's no direct shipping into the state of Pennsylvania. So if you're a wine lover in Pennsylvania and you want to buy one of these great Napa wines made from a small producer or a Sonoma County Pinot Noir, chances are you're not going to find it in a state store. The best of all worlds would be California for wine consumers. In the first place, a winery in California, if they choose to, can sell their wine to a distributor who will then sell it to retailers and restaurateurs. Or if they choose, they can sell it directly to a retailer or a restaurateur. And of course, they can also sell it directly to the consumer. But in addition to that, consumers in California, they can buy from out of state and have it shipped to them. They can buy from a New York winery who will then ship it to them, or they could buy it from a New York retailer who will then ship it to them. That's the way it should be. A producer should not be told that they have to go through a middleman, and a consumer shouldn't be restricted from accessing the wines they want. This is one of only four countries in the world with a drinking age as high as 21. The other three are Indonesia, Mongolia, and Palau. I would encourage someone to to refrain from alcohol use until they turn 21. Um, there are lots of things that people can do that don't involve alcohol. 18, 19, 20 year olds are going to drink. There's just no getting around it. So puking, are you guys on board? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>